Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will introduce four concepts related to electromagnetic waves, wavelength, amplitude, frequency, and hertz. If you see the ocean, you know waves. Electromagnetic waves, or EM waves in short, travel through space just like ocean waves. The energy carrying radio and TV signals, the heat from microwave oven, the light from the sun, or X rays and gamma rays used in hospitals are all forms of EM waves. Their forms might be different, but they share one common property they travel at the speed of light in an empty space. Let's look at several terms of wave first. A wave has a highest point called crest and a lowest point called trough. The vertical distance between crest and the wave's central axis is amplitude. Amplitude is about the strength of a wave or the power of waves vibration and oscillation. In other words, the greater the amplitude of the wave, the more energy it carries. In wireless communications, great amplitude means strong signals. When we talk about amplitude, power, energy, and intensity are used interchangeably. The wavelength is the distance from any point on one wave to the same point on the next wave. You can measure the wavelength from one lowest point to the next lowest point or two points on the axis. By convention, we measure the wavelength from the top of crest to the top of the next one. The measure unit of wavelength is meters. Then what's the frequency? If we draw an imaginary vertical line in space, the frequency of a wave is how often a wave cycle passes the line within a certain time, for example, within one second. We can also define frequency as the number of times a wave cycle repeats within a certain time. Look at this wave. It repeats its cycle three times within one second. We use a hertz to measure frequency. One hertz means a wave repeats one cycle within one second. Thus, this wave frequency is a three hertz because it repeats three cycles per second. Within the same one second, the wave below repeats its cycle six times, thus the wave's frequency is six hertz. We can say the wave below has a higher frequency than the wave above. Then what's the relationship between frequency and wavelength? Let's look at this example. We can see the wave with a longer wavelength has a lower frequency and a shorter wavelength means higher frequency. Amplitude has nothing to do with the frequency. Waves of different frequencies can have the same amplitude. On the other hand, waves of the same frequency can have different amplitudes. Keep in mind, all waves of different frequencies travel at the same speed, the speed of light in an empty space. Now let's look at the frequency formula, F equal C divided by lambda. Where F stands for frequency, C is speed of wave, which is the speed of light, and lambda stands for wavelength. Thus, from the formula, we can also say that frequency and wavelength are inversely related. The lower frequency, the longer wavelength, and the higher frequency, 
the shorter wavelength. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.